Hey guys, my name's Phil. Um, I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Depop, and Grailed. Um, you can find me there at Found by Phil. You can find me on Instagram at Found by Phil. And yeah, today I, um, you may remember from my last video, I did a thrifting haul video from a couple thrift stores I went to in Columbus, Ohio, and I got a ton of great stuff. That, however, is not my main source of sourcing. I usually don't go to thrift stores. I actually bought a wholesale um, storage unit um, full of vintage clothes and shoes in New York in June. Um, after counting everything, I believe there was somewhere around 5,000 pieces. Uh, I shipped all of that to Columbus, Ohio, where I live from New York. And it was in um, big cloth bags and basically I had some help, but I counted everything and moved it all, categorized it and moved it into boxes. I didn't really get a chance to look at what I was doing because I needed to get it done so quickly, uh, basically before the new year. Um, and before it got cold because we were doing it in a garage that is unheated. So I thought that this would be a little bit different. Um, I might do like a series of these videos cause it's kind of fun, like unboxing, I guess. Um, so this is a, I, I should say, I have no idea what's in this box. Um, there's a huge range of stuff that I, I got in this storage unit. I didn't like look at everything. So there's a lot of designer stuff, but there's also like junk and there's also really great vintage stuff, but there's also really great vintage stuff that's totally ruined, um, whether it's stained or whatever. There's also fur, which I don't sell and just tons of stuff. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. This is 44 heavyweight tops and sweatshirts. Um, yeah. So this is Diamond Supply Co. Stained there. So everything will be washed and treated, but some of these stains don't come out and then I have to figure out if it's worth it to sell it. This is cool. It's vintage, it says California on the front. Um, CS Sportswear, which I've never heard of. Made in China, so not vintage vintage um this will do really well on depop or on poshmark it's that great like corded corded textured fabric um peter jensen which a designer i've never heard of based on the label and the the material seems like a higher end designer um, and based on this tag right here, yeah, so made in Europe, so it's recent. Um, hmm. Peter Jensen, this is a size small, looks like a men's, like, rain jacket, has this cool detail on the sleeve. Um, cool. This is a, um sweatshirt that says Venice Beast California on it. It's embroidered hill heavyweight made in USA. So it's vintage. These souvenir sweatshirts do great for me. Um, I know they do really well for a lot of people on Depop, but I actually have sold all of mine on Poshmark um, pretty quickly and without any negotiation. I always get my asking price, which is usually $24. This is Washington Redskins um, crew neck sweatshirt. I don't know a lot about football, but I know that the Redskins are not, that's not their name anymore. <laughs> this doesn't have the main label, but it does have a little Russell tag. I wish that the person didn't cut off that main label because if it is made in USA, it would be worth more. If it had the label intact and the size intact, it would be worth more. It's got a couple stains on it, but those look like they're surface stains and they'll come out. Um, this is a lifeguard seaside heights, which I think is in New Jersey sweatshirt. I don't know if this is worth selling. Maybe it's cracked though. So we'll see. 
This is Giorgio Armani skirt, so this was not categorized correctly. Um, to be honest, it's my dad who's helping me sort everything, so that's fine. <laughs> but this is made in Italy, Giorgio Armani, um, 44 is Italian sizing. I don't know what it converts to off the top of my head. And then, yeah, simple skirts like this do really well for me on eBay or actually Mercari too, but I don't really sell too much on there. This is kind of just funky looking. A lot of the stuff has just labels cut out. It's like this oversized sweater dress. It does look like it was hanging in a closet because you can see these hanger points. Actually, that might be the design of it. Um, it's weird, that's for sure. So I've got to do research on this because I think this is handmade. Weird that the inside, they wouldn't use the right side of the fabric. So that even more makes me think it's handmade. Um, if I can find the right tags for this, then that would be great. Or if I can get it on a model because it looks like these little shoulder points are intentional and probably unique. Oh, this is cut from one, mm, no. I don't know, weird. Weird stuff, always does good. Um, this says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. So, this is an ugly Christmas sweater. That is not vintage. So I'm kind of, I have a lot of these and I'm kind of debating what to do with it. It's January now. I don't really know if I want to hold on to ugly Christmas sweaters, and I also don't know if I really like want to be that person <laughs> that sells ugly Christmas sweaters. But alas, money is money. This is Timo Weiland, which is a decent designer um, that I've sold before. So this is a knit button-up shirt, nice terry fabric. That's cute, really soft, almost like a shirt jacket. Um. This is a brand called, I can't read that. Um, this looks like a sample. Something by Ginny, I don't know. It has the tag on it, but the tag doesn't mean much because the brand's probably a no, no name brand. Um, so we'll see. Seven for All Mankind blazer, cool, looks to be in good condition. And that's a men's blazer. This is a faux fur jacket, Karen Rockfield for Uniqlo. Um, Uniqlo collaborations do really, really well. I've sold J.W. Anderson um, with Uniqlo collaboration. Look, the Le Mer Uniqlo collaboration does really well for me too. I haven't gotten Karen Rotfield. She is the editor in chief, or was the editor in chief of Vogue Europe, or one of the one of the European newspapers or European magazines. That's super cute, and faux fur does really well. Um, yeah, especially in Poshmark, and that's like a little cropped, shrunken bomber jacket. Ooh. This brand is called Braemar of Scotland. This is a oversized, chunky grandpa sweater. And it's always good when there's like reindeers, ugh, reindeers on there, because you can say reindeers. And for some reason that helps draw people to the post. It's 100% Shetland wool, also good. I'll just need to kind of look through this and make sure that we don't have any moth holes, which looks pretty good so far, but that's awesome. It's a size medium, but it looks like an XL. Let's see. Panache. Oh, made exclusively for Panache. This is a blazer made in Italy. Based on the label, I can tell that it's vintage. It also has big shoulder pads, so it makes me think it's late 80s, maybe early 80s. I'm not sure but there's no labeling that I'm seeing 
right now. But it's cute. I like that. This is really cool. It's a leather fringe jacket thing. But as I said before, some of this stuff is just in not good condition. Um, there's stains throughout. Leather is not cheap to clean and I don't have the time to really put a ton of effort into it. Stuff like this, I usually, someone will want it still, even given the condition. Um, I just take a ton of pictures and put it on eBay for pretty cheap and someone will snatch it up. I usually like to get rid of stuff like this sooner than later, so I uh, price it to sell. This is marked by Marc Jacobs. I cannot sell Marc Jacobs. I don't know why, but I actually sold my first Marc Jacobs um, this past weekend. This is a really basic sweatshirt. So maybe it'll do better. Um, this brand is called Labco, which I've never heard of, but based on the fabric that I'm feeling, um, it's a designer brand and it's cute, military inspired which is doing really well for me currently. This is a suede bomber jacket. The brand is called RDG Italia. Um, the label looks vintage, but may just be kind of retro. Um, so that's cute, easy sell. Sports about Big Yank. I don't know what that is, but this is great. It's quilted, lined, button-up shirt, buffalo plaid. Um, these do really well because it's a shirt jacket. Um, I don't. What am I looking at here? This the zipper is busted and there's no brand, but it's like a onesie. So that's a bust. Let's see here. This is Islide. Extremely, ugh, extremely wrinkled, but that will wash out. It's a trench coat and it's lightweight. Good for spring. Yeah, basic. Feels like it's waxed, which is always something good to put in listings if you can. People are really into waxed jackets. Oh, this one's really good. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Okay, so this is Agnes B, and it's a shearling um, jacket. It feels like real shearling. That's great. It looks vintage-ish. This is just, this is on here, but this looks like surface. Like, I'll just be able to brush that off. And if you're not familiar with Agnes B, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, it sells very well. I have sold Agnes B in bad condition for 40 bucks, like really bad condition. Um, so something like this and it's shearling and in good condition, uh, that'll be over hundred. This is a button up shirt Depense collection. Cute, basic, it's like 14 bucks, maybe. Jansport, made in USA. Ooh, that's an awesome graphic on there. Um, that's an XL, and that's kind of something I want to keep, but I shouldn't. This is a Dickies bomber jacket. I do really well with Dickies. Um, particularly on Depop and Grailed. I oftentimes don't even list it on Poshmark or eBay because people on eBay uh, are buying wholesale and it's all new. 
so it's really hard to compete with those prices and they it's like big companies that are selling it on ebay but this if you can tag workwear you know people are into workwear vibes carhartt that kind of thing so that's cute i don't know if it's kids so that's kids medium so maybe that will be poshmark this is a chaps button up i don't know basic this is a rag and bone jean this is a flannel button up this is women's so the reason that i say that is because i have found that men's rag and bone does a lot better than women's um, I think that the market is just really saturated, particularly with denim, like with jeans. But this is cute. It's like a popover button up and it's nice heavyweight. And it is, no, it's not reversible, but I like that the inside is a different plaid. This is pen. Uh, the label has been removed. This is handmade actually, so. There, you can see these seams aren't finished here and they're fraying, so whoever made this didn't have a serger machine and didn't want this to last very long. Because <laughs> that will just fall apart. Um, this is amazing. It is 70s. Uh, so the brand is called B. Altman & Co which sounds very very familiar um this is like a button-up super 70s you can see the butterfly print on there and the enormous pointed collar so somebody has taken the liberty to chop the bottom half off um so it's fraying there i don't know if this was initially a dress and now it's a top but it's still super cute and i'm still gonna sell it and it's still uh, unique stuff like that I just do really well with. This is a jersey. Always good. Nike jersey. XL USA. Um, jerseys. This I feel like I should be able to get 70 bucks. I've gotten 70 bucks for similar jerseys before. Um, yeah. That will be like eBay Poshmark probably. This is called Shy Kids. We have an impression on you, Shy Kids. American. This says one size fits all. I don't know. This is the label. It's super cute. Super grunge kind of thing. So it's odd. I'll have to do some research on that brand because it's a men's button up, but it says one size fits all. Uh, Usually one size fits all as a woman. This is Assembly New York. That's awesome. Um, I've sold this brand before and it does well, especially on Grailed. No care label, but it's super soft. This is Trail Wear by Penfield. So Penfield is a good brand. This is a woman's button up, which I think is a little less common. Um, yeah. Um, this is like a workwear jacket, a bomber jacket. I, oh, here we go. So it's made in USA, durable press. That's easy on Depop, workwear, like mechanic kind of aesthetic. Mechanic aesthetic, I don't know why that's a thing, but. Um, this is a sweater, Dominico Vodka. Oh. Super soft. 100% cashmere, so that's great have to check for holes. Um, this is a cardigan. The brand is called Geyser. One size fits all. That is Icelandic wool. 
So that's another really important hashtag or tag on posts right now. Nordic, Icelandic, whatever. Um, Nordic in particular is really, has a lot of eyes on it. That's really cute. It looks, oh, it's open front, so it doesn't have any buttons here. I feel like that's a valuable brand. This is not in good condition, but which sucks because it's a Woolrich button up vintage. You can see the cuffs are ripped there and the collar's ripped and there's just multiple holes in it. So I wish I could find, and it's made in USA. So I wish I could find somebody that could repair that cheaply, but um, I actually have a, a bin going of stuff that I would like to get repaired because I don't really love throwing stuff away like this just because I think it's cool and could sell. Maybe I'll cut off the sleeves, um, but that's pretty bad. Not worth keeping probably. This is Staple, which is a decent streetwear brand. I have a pair of shorts from Staple in my closet now. This is Neiman Marcus dress, size medium, I don't know. So it must be their private label. Um, it looks like leather on the front. Yes, so it's genuine leather on the front and then it has like a stretchy side and it's a fit and flare dress. That's great, it's super cute, black dress. This is Joy Rich, Joy Rich, sounds familiar. I think it's like a middle of the road streetwear brand. Terry. Um, this is Long Live Kappa Theta, April 26, 1975 too. So I really uh, don't want to sell this, but, oh, and one sleeve has been cut off. All right. Um, Lauren Ralph Lauren. There's been a lot of Lauren Ralph Lauren, which is great. Um, a lot of people discard Ralph Lauren when they're thrifting, but it is a honey hole, honey pot, whatever the term is. If you know what you're looking for, there's so many different tiers of Ralph Lauren, double RL in particular, um, that is worth, can be worth a lot of money. Um, this is a size zero. And also when looking at LRL, it's good to look at the fabric because that will really help distinguish it like if it's 100% silk, then you can obviously get more of it. This is 87% uh, wool, dry clean. So yeah, it looks to be in good condition. So that's an easy sell. Um, probably on, sorry, I ran out of space on my phone, so it'll probably look different. So yeah, um, but I'm back. The brand is called A Not Dead. It's a crew neck sweatshirt. It is a straight edge thing, um, which, I bet someone wants because it's pretty specialty. Um, someone will be looking for this on eBay probably, but I don't know what the size is, but yeah. Oh. It is a size one, so yeah. Um, so that's actually everything in here. It's pretty good box in general. Um, I love that Jansport piece and I'm pumped about this. Hopefully everything, this um, shearling jacket. So hopefully everything's in working order there. Maybe I'll send this to the real real even, which I actually have never tried before, but a lot of people are doing it since they've stopped sending things to thread up. But that's it. Um, so I asked in my last video if anybody wanted me to do these videos and no one responded. So I'm just doing them. Um, I like to do stuff that no one asked for. So we'll see, maybe I'll keep doing these. I probably will. Um, but if you liked it, I would love if you commented below 
and subscribed and that will motivate me to keep these going. I have boxes full of all categories, tons, tons of boxes. Um, I have dresses, shoes, skirts, uh, jackets, whatever. I have everything. Um, so it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. I don't know, but let me know. Um, again, I will put my link to my website down low or down below this video. And at that, you can find the links to my Poshmark, eBay, Depop, Grailed. I'll also include a link to my Instagram, but it's found by Phil. Um, check me out there. And yeah, thanks.